day that my big brother would bring a wife into our family. I hoped that the woman would be kind, intelligent, and bring the best attributes out of him. I did not know, however, that this person he would bring home would also quickly turn into a best friend and a sister. Erica was so patient with all of us and gracious and kind. If I, I don't think I could design a better partner for my son than you. You really compliment him in so many ways. So, Ari and I are really delighted to welcome you to the family. Brenton became my most reliable counsel and my best friend. Brenton has enduring commitment. If he starts something, he will finish it. Not only that, but it will be the most organized and time managed way possible. Brenton has an ever expanding intellect. I'm sure we've all experienced this. Truly, he is the most intelligent person I've ever met. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So welcome on behalf of Erica and Brenton into this place in a moment that's sacred to them, but also that I would like to suggest that is also sacred to all of us. Erica and Brenton, have you come here into this place to affirm your love in marriage freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared to follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I, Brenton, affirm Erica to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. It's my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Piper. And just want you to know that it's not your accomplishments as individuals that are most impressive. It's going forward, the progression of your relationship and your life going forward as a married couple. That's what's going to impress us all. We, we love you. We, we wish you all the best. We wish you a long, a long, healthy marriage and life together and all those good things that the world has to offer.